Hey everybody, this is Timmy P. Style. Um, I am not familiar with, I mean I am familiar with computers, but not with networking crap. But uh, anyway, I just, just five minutes ago, after six months, uh, got my PS3 to be a Type 2 instead of a Type 3 uh, NAT. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I have to be quiet because my nephew is sleeping in the other room. So um, anyway, um, I just watched this video. So you can type it in your browser. It is by, it's hard to see, but it is BCS the bomb is what I just watched. Um, watch that video, and then if that does not work, um, this is for a Linksys router, by the way. Um, you go into, I'm going to do it right now, so you type in your address. You do 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one enter and it'll take you to this screen my internet is kind of slow um, usually it tells you um, sign in so you do admin admin um, I was just on it so it didn't ask me for it since I was just on it on a different page but anyway you go into applications and gaming which is up there and then port range forwarding. Mine has a single port forwarding right here, right here. And it has port range forwarding, port range triggering, DMZ, and QoS. Um, you go to port range forwarding. Just like he says, uh, if, if you don't want to watch this video, then this is, I'll show you how to do it. Um, I did it down here because I already had all this stuff in the top before I looked at his. But you type in application name. I put PS3 dash NAT. Doesn't really matter what you put. Um, start port 3478. End port 3658. Um, you do under. You click on uh, protocol. You do UDP. And then you for two IP address. You put 192.168.1.250. So you're going to type in 250 basically. And that's right there. Which is, I know it's hard to read, but, um, and then enabled, which you just check the box. And then you go down here, save settings, be right here, click on that, and then, um, it should go to a different page, it should, it'll, it'll refresh the page, basically. Um, if that does not work, you go up here, underneath applications and gaming, there's DMZ, click on that. And then go to, it should be disabled, it'll have this right here. I just enabled it. And then source IP address. You go to any. Destination down here. It's a destination. You have to check um, IP address and you type in the 250 like you did before. And then you do, you go down to save settings. Um, before you try the DMZ though, try what I just put on the port range forwarding window. Just try that. Um, then I, I would say turn off your PS3, turn it back on, try the settings. Um, go, you have to enter them manually, so I will show you that right now. There, my remote. Wherever I left it. Right there. Okay. Um, you go over to network settings. Is right there. Um, internet connection setting will be the third one. It'll say adjust settings for connection to internet. You, if you're making a wired connection, you must have an Ethernet cable connected. Okay. Um, you have to go to custom. You go to custom. You can do wired or wireless. Um, auto detect. Manual for IP address setting. Go to manual. And then you have to type in how you had it on the computer. So the 192, basically you have to hit X and you have to scroll up or down to get 192, 168, 1, and 250. And then you hit X. And then you scroll down to your default router if this is not filled in. So uh, I think the only thing that was filled in was the subnet mask. So default router, you do 192, oops, sorry, 192, 168, 1, 1, 
and then for primary DNS and secondary DNS do the same exact as you did for default router. Then you hit write, MTU automatic, proxy server do not use, UPNP enable, and then it'll give you the list and you hit the X button to save and then test connection and succeeded, succeeded checking, succeeded available and I got type 2. And like I said, I've been doing this for six months and I have not gotten it until today. So, and then it also checks your connection speed. Um, I had type 3 for six months without any luck until I just did that DMZ thing. Um, my connection speed is the download speed and also the upload speed are both getting higher and lower. It was at 3 megabytes per second, now it's at 1.3 for download. Um, I'm thinking it's just because it's so cold outside, everybody's on the internet instead of being outside, so. Um, like right now it's like negative 10 outside, so. Um, so I have type 2 now. So. Thank you, thank you to uh, the bomb for having the video, and I will post mine as a response to his. Thank you.